Hello, Libra viewers. Let's get right into it. So, whatever the cards want to say, it could be about love, money, just whatever story wants to come up for this specific energy group. As always, if you guys would like a private reading, just email me. My email is below in the description box, right below this video. That email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. All my info is below to... My donation links are below. Donation links are definitely appreciated. Uh, please bear with my camera for a minute. It usually zooms in and out as I put the cards down, but it should stabilize once I get them out. Listening and understanding new perspective. True love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. Divine intervention, synchronicity, anger, miscommunication. Mutual feelings, emotional depth, adventure, honeymoon, vacation, reconciliation, isolation, loneliness, emptiness, spying, end of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, make your move, green light, chaser, chasey, power struggle, choosing their words wisely planning their approach dreams visions telepathy hmm. okay okay i'm getting obsessive stalker vibes from this reading honestly this is like an x so this energy has either come in or it's about to come in like, for some of you, this you're already in the middle of this. But for others, I feel like you're about... I feel like you've been holding on to someone that's toxic. And I feel like your spirit guides have been showing you this person is toxic. But I feel like you've been kind of, like, half, half in, half out. Like, some part of you knows it's toxic. But then this other part of you just feels like it's, like, familiar. Like, you've put so much work and so much energy and effort into this person that it's, like... Well, I don't want to pick up the piece. I don't have to pick up the pieces. I don't want to have to start from scratch. So it's like you just kind of stay in a situation where you're not fully happy. It's like you can't fully be yourself um, with this person. Because I sense someone that's really good for you here. And I sense someone that's really toxic. I sense two different partners here. Um, some of you are probably like, why the hell does my ex keep showing up in my readings? Um, for some, for a lot of you, when that happens, it's, well... Sometimes it just happens when you have an ex that could be an ex that's into witchcraft even, you know, and I'm, I'm a witch, so I'm not, I'm not knocking witchcraft. Like I'm a witch myself, but if someone's like obsessively trying to manifest you back and especially if they're doing it through magic, then sometimes their energy will just pop up and it's hard unless you're a witch yourself and you know how to block that. Sometimes it's really hard to, um, to navigate that. Sometimes they do come through in your readings. I also want to say, um, it's important to do a cut and clear ritual too. If you're really done with someone you got to do the cut and clear ritual and you got to block them. Like you have to be done. And, you know, if you talk to them again after you've cut and cleared them, those energetic red cords will just reattach. So you have to not only cut the cords, but also block them and be done communicating with them. And I know that's not always easy. But for some, this this energy keeps popping up in your readings. And I'll get to I'll get to the overall energy here. But I just want to say for some of you, because I know some of you are probably watching this and you're frustrated and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to hear about this stupid ex anymore. I just want to hear about new love. Why is this ex coming forward? And, you know, from personal experience, I've realized that when that happens, it's usually because I have not cut the cords. It's usually my spirit guide saying, hey, like this needs, you need to, Yes, you physically ended it, but you got to energetically, spiritually, psychically end it as well. You got to protect yourself. You know, sometimes it's one of those things where it's like, even if you've let go, that doesn't mean the other person has. So your spirit guides bring them up in your readings, you know, partially just their energy, you know, trying to force its way through. But sometimes it's also your spirit guide saying, hey, like, look at this, clear this energy up, cut and clear this person, block this person. Don't associate with mutual friends that are trying to keep tabs on you on the, for this person, for, the, for on this person's behalf. This is like Kanye West energy. <laughs> I keep seeing all the freaking, God, I'm, I, I don't even, I don't care about the Kardashians, okay? Do not get me wrong. I do not give a shit about the Kardashians. <laughs> but it really reminds me of like on Facebook, I'm seeing it everywhere. Like all these articles about Kanye West just losing, losing it because he wants Kim back. 
And like I said, I don't care. I don't care about it. Like I don't, but it keeps popping up on my newsfeed. Like he's having like a mental breakdown right now over someone that doesn't want him. And it reminds me, it just, that energy reminds me of what this person is either currently doing or about to be doing with when it comes to you. Um, and so I think it's also like a warning too. It's like hey, saying, Hey, like be, be a little careful there, you know? Um, God, but let me get into this. Okay. Let me get into this here. So I feel like the divine has intervened. They want you to have this new perspective for a lot of you. I feel like this could be an abusive relationship that you saved yourself from. Cause I'm, I get really toxic vibes from this person. I get very like, it's like they're obsessed with you, but it almost feels like they feel like you are their property. Like it doesn't, like, I don't even feel love towards them. Like, I don't even feel love coming from them. Like it, they, they think that they love you in their mind. They love you, but I feel like this person doesn't even know what love is. Like they're not even fully capable of real love. It just feels like they want to, like they want to possess you. They want to own you. They want, they want to control you. They're pissed off that they don't have control over you, over the connection. They're pissed off that you're moving on. I feel like your spirit guides, like your angels, your gods and goddesses, maybe even fae spirits or other types of spirits have just, they've come through you know, through synchronicity, divine intervention, you could even have little kitty spirit guides. You could even have like, some of you might be cat people or you could have like cats around you that did not, maybe you have a cat that did not like this person and your cat was like intuitively warning you like, hey mom or hey dad, like get this person out of our lives, please. Like I don't, that's, that's not going to be my new daddy or my new mommy. Uh-uh, like get this person out. Like your cat was like, no, I don't like this. <laughs> little kitty guy here. Kitties, cats are so intuitive. Like, I, okay, I could go on and on about cats. I love cats. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, this person, yeah, your spirit guides came through and started blocking this person and kind of showing you like this person has a lot of anger issues. I get a lot, like I get like when I look at this card, because I always channel. So I always, you know, interact with the cards differently through each reading, even though I, I get anger in general, like sometimes I'll be more drawn to miscommunic to the miscommunication part. But this time I'm just drawn to like the anger and like the look on her face, the energy from her, you know, this could be male or female, but it's like someone that's like, just has a lot of anger issues. I feel like this could have, this could have been someone that was physically or and or verbally abusive with you. And it feels like you've either just met someone else or you're about to meet someone else and there's going to be these mutual feelings here and like you're going to have this new start. I feel like this is someone like maybe this person like promised you to um I feel like this person was kind of like a financial leech for some of you as well. Maybe this person also promised you to promise to take you on trips and and travel and do all these fun things with you and they just never did. And it's like this new person is actually going to do those things. This new person is actually going to want that new start with you, adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Like they're going to do all the things. Could be a motorcycle for someone as well. That could be relevant for someone. But um, but yeah, it's like they're going to do all the things that this person promised to do and never did. This person just seems like, just like I get like a low life energy, like a, ugh. just, just not like, I feel like this person could have ended up being physically abusive had you not gotten out of there when you did. You know, for some, you did go through that already, but for others, I feel like it was like, you probably saw signs of that. Like you saw that they had a really short temper. You saw that they would get really pissed off over small things. You kind of got like a sense of their control issues. And I'm also just hearing like financial leech for some, for some, I feel like this person might've been like kind of leeching off you financially. Like they were using you for money or using you for sex, using you for a place to stay, um, I get like, and this could be female, this could be male or female, but I get like someone that thinks they're an alpha, but they're not actually an alpha, but they try to convince people that they are, you know, like a true genuine, genuine alpha, which is what I think you're going to be getting in the near future is someone who's genuinely confident, genuine, genuinely like sure of themselves, sure of, you know, who they are, what they want in life. Um, just stable, you know what I mean? Like they just... They just have that natural confidence. The people, like the guys at bars, you know, male and female, like the, the people at bars that are like, you know, screaming and talking over everybody else and yelling at the bartender and talking down to everybody and trying to pick fights with people and competing with everyone they see, those are not alpha males or females. 
That's no, that's not a real leader at all. That's the, those are the traits of someone who's super insecure and trying to cover up those insecurities. A true alpha will just kind of sit in their power. They already know who they are. They already know what they want. Um, they just, they don't have to do all that extra stuff. They don't, you know what I mean? Like they don't really have the control issues. They, they already, they love themselves as it is. They already, you know what I mean? Like they just have that natural power. They don't have to do all that. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like this person is very angry, very controlling. Like they want to present themselves as an alpha, but they're not. And I feel like you're getting someone, like you've either just met someone or you're going to be meeting someone in the near future. And the, the, the feelings are going to be there. Mutual feelings, you know, make, doing the things that this person promised they would do with you, but they never did. You know, adventure, new start, honeymoon, vacation. And this person, though, wants to reconcile. They are they're feeling isolated, alone, empty. Some of them are stalking you. Some of you, it's like you're sick of hearing about this person, but some of you need to hear it because they, some of them might literally be stalking you. You know, they feel alone and they're having like a mental breakdown, like an emotional breakdown. Some of you even have like a, like a straight up nervous breakdown. Some of them, you know, um, some of you could even have kids with this person and they want, they're like, oh, hell no. Like, I don't want another man or another woman around my kids. Like they're, you know, it's just this warning that I think some of you needed to hear but, um, but yeah, some of them are actually stalking you. So some of you need to know that, but I feel like you, like, it's like you're, you're done with this person. You know, you know what I mean? Like you're breaking through end of a pattern, breakthrough cycle, break, uh, breaking through the cycle. Yeah. They're still going to make it a power struggle though. It's like, they're trying to control it. They're trying to plan out what to say. They're trying to, some of them are trying to come through your dreams I hate to say it, but some of you are actually dealing with people that practice black magic and they're actually trying to get through. They're trying to do love spells on you. They're trying to, and that's not for everybody. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like making people paranoid because it's like most people don't practice black magic. That's not like a common thing. You know what I mean? But, but if you're in the community and you're, you date people that are in the community or you date people that like have, or, you know, like their mom or their best friend is a witch, then, then I would be mindful of it, you know? And witchcraft is a beautiful thing. Like, it's not something that you have to be afraid of because, you know, you can do protection spells. You can do healing spells. You can do, it's, you know, magic is, is it depends on the user. It depends on the person doing it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not evil by itself, but if you have an evil person, an obsessive, controlling person doing magic, then yeah, it, it, they can make it evil, but that's just them. But, um, but yeah, some of them are trying to get through your dreams. They're trying to confuse you, trying to keep you off your path, trying to stop you from meeting this new person. Um, you know, if you don't practice magic, like you don't, you don't have to protect, to protect yourself from this person. Like I recommend it because there's so many things that you can do. You can do uncrossing rituals to get rid of anything that they put on you. Um, cut and clear rituals are also very important because that cuts the red cords between you guys so you can free yourself so that this... This potential psychic vampire can't pick up on your energy anymore. And then you block them so that those cords don't reattach. You know, um, protection work. It's also really important. You know, road opening is good if you're trying to meet new people. Like, there's so many good things that you can do. But even if you don't want to get deep into it and you don't want to do candle magic or anything like that, you can also just do simple visualizations. You know what I mean? Like, when you're in the shower, you can just, you can visualize, like, light coming out of the water and just cleansing and purifying you. Um, you can visualize like a bubble of just light and good energy around you that's just protecting you from this person's influence. But it's just one of those things where it's like, I feel like you can't sweep this under the rug. I know a lot of you are probably really frustrated with this reading. Please don't shoot the messenger. It's just some of you need to know this for your own safety, be it physical safety or, you know, spiritual safety. Some of you are just like, yeah, I'm, I'm sick of this person. Why are they coming up? It's like, well, because they're obsessed with you because they're stalking you. You need to be aware of this. Some of you do need to, some of you that are witches do need to do um, spell work here. You know, for some of you, this is something that needs to be addressed. You know, because some of you are probably witches yourself and you're probably psychics yourself. And you're like, like, why, why is this person like coming through my dreams? Why is this happening? Why do I keep feeling like I'm going to meet someone new, but I keep, you know, this person keeps coming up instead. You're like, you know what I mean? It's like, you're kind of confused and it's like, it's, it's telling you this, Hey, this is what's going on here. You know, be, be mindful of this, clear this energy up. And it's nothing to be afraid of. It's really, I mean, 
be cautious, but not afraid. You know what I mean? It's just something that needs to be brought to your attention. But I feel like it's something that you can clear up once you have that awareness. But it's something that you can't just sweep under the rug anymore. You can't just be like, well, I'm done with this person. I'm tired of it. I'm moving on. You know, it's like, yeah, like your spirit guides understand that you've moved on. But the issue is that this person hasn't moved on. So you have to be careful. You know, you have to be watch your surroundings. You have to watch out for mutual friends that are trying to dig up dirt or dig up info on you to give to this person. You have to watch out for, you know, for those of you that are, that are dating someone that's into black magic, you have to watch out for this person doing that. It's, you know, it's not something to be afraid of, but it is something that has to be addressed. Otherwise, you're going to have this energy on you and it's like you're going to be oblivious to it and you're going to be kind of stuck going in limbo. So it's a beautiful thing that it's coming up here because now you can you can clear this up and do what you need to do to push this person out and to free yourself. Um, but yeah, this person is really jealous of the new person that's either coming or about to come in. They could be feeling them energetically and trying to block it. They can't block it. It's not something that you need to be afraid of, but it is something that you just kind of have to like be mindful of. You know what I mean? Like protect yourself. Like I said, even if you don't do witchcraft yourself, you can still at least meditate and visualize like light and good energy surrounding you and protecting you you can still clear your space and your energy there's still little rituals that you can do without diving headfirst into witchcraft if it's not something you're comfortable with you know what i mean but but yeah it's something that needs to be addressed here what else do you want to say about this finances career sadness ex the past This person could also be going through some financial struggles and they might come back to try to seduce you and be like, oh, you're so beautiful and mysterious and enchanting. Let me back in. Let me take more money from you. Um, yeah, they're trying to, someone's doing, uh, not for not for all of you, but some of them are doing magic. Some of them are doing magic. Waiting, hoping, praying. Yeah, it's like they're tired of waiting. They just want to dive in and kind of seduce you. Yeah, betrayal, jealousy, conflict choose a path yeah it's almost like this person is kind of choosing like like I feel like you might get a like a message from this person but it's going to be bullshit it's going to be like they're trying to seduce you pretty much because they know maybe they cheated on you in the past or like abused you you know just there was conflict there was drama there was anger issues control issues just just toxic energy overall just someone someone kind of shady and sneaky here you know and it's, it's like, I feel like they're, they're having to choose a path. It's like, they know that if they come in like this, because I feel like this person, maybe they, in the past, they could gaslight you. They could kind of like manipulate you. Um, they knew how to play on your emotions. They knew how to, they had things that they like held over your head for some of you, I feel, or like they knew how to play on your emotions. They just knew the right words to say. They knew how to get back in with you. And now I feel like you're really not allowing that anymore. Like your spirit guides have really shown you how toxic this person is. So you're not open to them so much anymore. Um, not to scare anyone either, but I'm also hearing protect the cat. Like, I don't know. What, I don't know. Protect the cat. <laughs> Some of you have a cat and this person does not like your cat. And you need to protect your cat from this person. This person could, okay, I don't want to scare anyone. I don't, you know, I had, I had my baby for like, like my, my kitty passed last year. That was like my entire life. That was my son. I would die for that cat. So I, it's scary. Like I get it. I get it. It's probably upsetting and terrifying to hear that. And you'll know if that's your story. That's not for everybody. That's just for one specific person here, which I think that you already know that this person doesn't like your cat because your cat didn't like this person. Your cat wanted to, wanted to shut this person out. This cat wanted, um, this cat wanted this person out of your lives. And God, it's making me emotional. It's really making me emotional because it's like, I feel, I, it sounds stupid, but like, I feel this cat's emotions. Like this cat has such, whoever I'm talking to, someone really specific here, this cat has such a big heart. Like this cat is like one of your spirit guides or like your like past life child even. It's like this is like your baby. Like you are like their mommy or their daddy. Like they just love you so much. And the cat does not like this person. And this person sensed it when they were at your house or wherever your cat is. Like they kind of felt that energy. Like they felt the cat's energy being like, hey, get the hell out. Get away from my, my parent. Like I don't want you here. 
Um, so this person doesn't like, this person really doesn't like the cat. This person wants you to get rid of the cat. I feel like they almost, I don't know. If this is you, I would keep your cat inside right now. Honestly, if this is, if this is your story, like if you know this, if this is resonating and you're like, oh my God, like he said something about my, he or she said something about my cat or like they, like, yeah, they never got along. Like you just know this is for you. Watch, like protect your cat. Don't let your cat outside right now. Cause I'm, I don't know. I just got a really bad vibe. Like I got like a really, like really worried about the cat. Like, a, like just change your locks. Don't let this person back in. Just really protect the cat. I don't, I don't know. I hope that makes sense. But, um, like a lot of times I channel very specific things. I know that's just for one person probably. Like that's probably like one or two people at most, but like protect your animal. And this could be a dog too, but I'm getting more cat energy from this. But, um, but yeah, protect your baby. That, that cat sees you as their mommy or daddy. Like they love you. You are their entire world. They just want you with someone good. And this person like did not, they, they knew that, that the animal was protective of you and they didn't like it and they wanted that animal out and they still want that animal out. Like they, I just feel like they could get physically violent with the animal. I hate to say it. I hate, I know it's upsetting, but like. I feel like your cat could even be kind of afraid of this person. Like, your cat... I feel like it's not just physical violence. I also feel like the cat was, like, depressed that you were even allowing this person in. Like, this person hated your cat, and, the, and like, your cat saw you crying and saw you upset over this person and saw what they were doing to you and saw that they were, like, changing you. Like, for some of you, I feel like you got distant from your cat just because you were so depressed that you were just pushing everyone and everything away. Like you just didn't, like you just, you didn't have the energy. You didn't have any spoons left. You were just so exhausted. And this cat saw that change in you and they just wanted you back to your old self. You know, your old energetic loving self. Like, you know, I'm hearing like you guys used to like cuddle and used to do things. And then like you stopped doing those things when, um, like when this person came around, like they became your priority. You know, it's like this cat felt like neglected and upset and they also just wanted you you know, not to, not to guilt trip you, but they also just wanted, you know, you to be happy and you to be your, your, your true self again and be free of this energy. They wanted things to go back to how, how it was when it was just the two of you. I mean, this, this animal will, will let someone else into your life, but only if they're good for you. And only if that person is going to be like a mommy or daddy to them and see them as part of the family. This person did not see the cat as part of the family. They wanted them out and you just, anyway, that's just for one specific, one specific person. So I don't want to go too much into it, you know, but, um, but yeah, don't, don't let this person back in under any circumstances and don't let them near your cat, protect that cat, because I feel like some of them are like so angry and they want to control you so bad that they might actually go after your animal. Okay. I hate to say it. I know, but you need to know this. Like you need to, you need to know this. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Um, if that is your story, okay, because I, I do, like, I, I never do free readings, like, that's, I, I, I very rarely do them, you know, but if that's your story and you want me to go more in detail into about the cat, just message me and I'll, I'll give you some free answers on that. Um, not, I mean, I'm not going to tell you a lot. I'm not going to go into detail about the, the person or anything like that, but like for, for the cat's sake, I'll give you a few answers on, on that if you want to email me, um, for free. But, um, but yeah, everyone else has to pay for readings, <laughs> but no, when it comes to a kitty, I'm like, oh my God, I want to help you protect this kitty. Like I, I, I can't, I can't imagine like if this had happened, if this was my cat, like I would lose my shit, you know? So I feel it. But anyway, I'm sorry. So for the rest of you that that's not your story, um, yeah, this person can be doing black magic. I feel like, so what I was saying is I feel like they, they, they know that they have to choose a path. Like they kind of know they have to choose between um I feel like they know that they have to choose between basically like coming back with the same energy and like pretending and being seductive and acting like they've changed you know because I think they tried to control you they tried to do the same stuff they did in the past and it didn't work this time like you're kind of just you know you're moving on from that you're like no I don't want that anymore like I'm, I'm done with that um Sex and seduction too. Yeah, it just feels like they're they're choosing to be seductive because it's like this energy doesn't work now. 
they can't gaslight you anymore. They can't manipulate you anymore. They're not, you know what I mean? Like you're not having it. I'm almost gonna cry just channeling that cat. It makes me so upset because I love kitties. I can't handle a cat feeling like this. Oh my God. Your cat forgives you. Like you don't have to worry about that, but it's just, just protect them and just, just try to give your kitty some love and treats and attention because they, they have felt neglected. They have felt like they come second to this person and they just want you to go back to like, spoiling them and like loving them and giving them your full attention and not being detached because of what this person's put you through you feel me hesitation mixed feelings submissive weak-willed willpower strength confidence Yeah, it's like you're not submissive anymore. You know what I mean? Like you hesitated for a long time. I think you thought like, oh, what if this person gets counseling? Or what if they do? What if they change? What if this? What if that? And now you're like, you're, you know, you're taking your willpower back. You made the right decision. Yeah, they were manipulative and deceptive. They didn't want to change. You can't change someone that doesn't want to change. They want to keep drinking or doing drugs or doing whatever, whatever bullshit they've been doing. That truth has come out. For some, they were cheating on you too. Um, that, yeah, that truth has come out and you need to, you know, when you see the truth about like, it, what is that quote? When you see the truth about someone, don't try to repaint. Don't, when you see the red flags, don't try to repaint them or don't try to, when you see someone's true colors, don't try to repaint them. Like, you know, this person's true colors, you know, you got to move on. If you have a hard time doing it for you, do it for your kitty's sake. If you have, if that's your story that you have a kitty, um, but, um, but yeah, like I said, I know this sucks that this person keeps coming up, but like I said, this, this energy needs to be cleared up. And I think that, you know, like I said, there's different stories here for some, you know, this is witchcraft where you might be a witch and your person might be a witch and you might need to do uncrossing and protection and even reversing spells on this person and, um, cut and clear, cut and clear. Everyone needs to do a cut and clear ritual. If this is your energy group, all of you need to do cut and clear rituals at least. And that's not, you don't have to like get hardcore into spell work to do a cut and clear ritual. Like there's different ways that you can do it. You can do it through meditation. You can do it through spell work. There's, there's different rituals that you can do, but those cords have to be cut, you know? Um, yeah. So just be mindful of that, but you do have new love coming in. I do see new love coming in. And that's going to, but that the thing is, that's going to trigger this person even more. It's going to trigger their jealousy and their control issues. So you need to watch her back. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope that resonates. And hopefully, you know, I just channel the energies like I'm, I'm channeling this energy group. So it's not like it's set in stone. It's like, you guys can change this. You know what I mean? Like if this person's setting it, like if this person's in your energy group and they keep, you know, they keep popping up. If all of you go and do and cut and clear ritual and get rid of this person's energy and you block them and you really make that final decision, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, that energy shifts. You know what I mean? So in two weeks, like what I'm saying is my readings depend on you guys. I'm channeling your energies. I'm channeling, you know, how collective readings work. It's like your spirit guides will draw you to the videos that you're meant to see. You know, your spirit guides, like if you're in this energy group, I feel like I try to, you know, put titles that will resonate so you know if this is your energy group. But it's like I channel you guys. I channel specific messages for you guys in these videos and, you know, for this for this energy group here. And so it's like if you guys all shift to this and you get out of this energy, then I'm going to be channeling you in two weeks. You know what I mean? It's like your the world is your oyster. You guys change things and in two weeks I might be getting... A completely different story of like, wow, you met your true love. You guys just went to Hawaii together. Like things like, like just shifts, you know what I mean? Like major energetic shifts. It's up to you guys. It's your energy I'm picking up on. So I hope that makes sense. And like I said, feel free to email me if you want to book a private reading. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That email is in the description box and any donations are appreciated. Thank you guys for watching.